Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, this channel is all about beauty. We talk about fragrances, skincare, makeup. We do unboxings. This is something we're going to do today. If you are interested in more personal stuff, more lifestyle bits, uh, go and check our Instagram. I'm going to link it in the description box below. And as you can see today, we're going to be unboxing this beauty. This is the Fortnum and Mason 2023 Advent Calendar. I love this new packaging. Usually Fortnum and Mason comes in this very kind of like old school Christmassy um, kind of like pattern. This year's it's completely different, but I do really love the way it looks. So let's open that. So this is what it looks inside. It reminds me a little bit more of the traditional Fortnum and Mason Advent calendar. We have all different sizes of the drawers here, which is a good sign because I'm expecting like a lot of full sizes here. So without further ado, let's just jump in. As far as the essential details go, this event calendar is priced at £260 and it's worth over £1,000. So day number one is up here and this is quite a large drawer so I'm, I'm hoping for a good start. Okay, what is this? Look at that. We have like three little like packets here. No, four actually. So we have like four like little envelopes. Look at that, that is so cute. Oh, okay, these are bath salts. I love this. I mean, I love like any kind of like bath related product. Uh, and we have like four sachets of uh, bath salts. So we have like all different patterns and scents. Uh, like for example, this one here with like little flowers. Then we have this one with like a leopard and they come in this kind of like envelope-like um, packaging. These are super cute and we have four of them, so that is very exciting. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere how uh, big these are, but judging by how much product is inside, I would say uh, this would probably be like one to two buffs that you can use it for. So a brilliant start, I love it. I mean, obviously this advent calendar is very focused on like um, self-care and like relaxation and, you know, loving yourself in general. Uh, there's usually not much makeup. Uh, there's a little bit of skincare, but it's mostly like, you know, like baths and like massage and like all those like very relaxing and uh, kind of like loving yourself uh, stuff. So this is obviously the type of product I'll expect here and this is a really nice first day. Okay, day number two up here. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. We have a candle here. Oh, it smells beautiful. Is this like a perfect uh, fragrance for like winter? That's how I would describe it. Day number three over here. Okay, guys, it might sound like I'm a little biased because I'm loving everything so much, but so far this advent calendar is killing it. So look what we have here. This is a full-size Cold 51 Oxygen Cellular Mask. I've tried their day and night cream before and they were both amazing and they just smell so good. A multi-active oxygen mask that rejuvenates at cellular level. Infused with oxygen, a lightweight blend of birch sap, amino acids, minerals, proteins and antioxidants that stimulate deep into the layers to brighten, smooth, increase elasticity and hydrate. That actually sounds amazing. So you just apply it on your face um, and then leave for 10 minutes while serum activates into a foam and dissolves. Rinse off with warm water. For maximum results, store in a fridge. Hmm, that's interesting. I also love the fact that we have this little pump here, so that makes everything much more hygienic, and I just I just cannot wait to use it now. Oh my god, this advent calendar is so good. I really hope it's going to continue this level. There's not going to be like any flops or anything like that here. Okay, day number four. So day number four is over here. So here, surprisingly, we have a bit of makeup. Uh, so this is La Bouche Rouge. Uh, I think it's a lip pencil in shade Nude. Uh, I am surprised because uh, I bought this advent calendar. I think this is my fourth uh, Fortnum and Mason advent calendar and it's quite rare that they have makeup. It's just not really something that they do that often. So it's nice to see something like that here. I also love the fact that it's a little bit different brand. The shade is beautiful. The formula is nice. It's not uh, hard enough to like scratch your lips, but at the same time, it's not like super buttery. So it's like a perfect little uh, lip liner. And uh, to be honest, I haven't really tried much from this brand. So it's quite exciting to try something new. I'm also really happy this is a lip liner, not an eyeliner, for example, or like, you know, Know, something that we get constantly in advent calendars so yeah that's good day number five day number five is this small one over here so the box was small but the content is actually really lovely so we have the aromatherapy associates uh the bathing oil uh, bath and shower oil and this one is re in revive more 
morning. I really love these products. They just smell gorgeous. And if you are a bath person like I am, uh, this is a must have. It's very relaxing. It's very spa like. I'm always super excited whenever I get these. And this is a full size bottle, 55 mils. Day number six, even smaller. So here we have Firming Body Moisturizer by Overham, and this is 30 mils. So it's like a little travel size of a body moisturizer, probably out of these all, the least exciting product so far. Although I don't think I've tried it before, so at least a new product for me to test. Uh, what does it say? Uh, made with natural essential oils uh, to tone and hydrate. It does look alright though, uh, 30 mils is a good size to try it out. What does it say? The sophisticated cornucopia of high performing natural ingredients has been carefully formulated to firm and hydrate the skin while enhancing uh, its elasticity for a visible difference. Okay, so as I mentioned, the least exciting product so far because of its size. Uh, but to be honest, I did not expect this advent calendar to have like full sizes only. So that is fine. That is fine. So that's not like a bad uh, product or a bad size. Okay, let's move on to day number seven, which is over here. So this is what we have here. This is the Lila Travel Vegan Brush Collection. So it looks like we're going to have like four products inside. Let me just open it. Oh my god, it comes in a pouch. That is so cute. So look at this pouch. It's so nice and elegant. And we have four travel sized brushes over here. So there you go. These are the brushes. So what do we have here? So we have mini powder brush, which is this one over here. We have double ended eyeshadow brush, mini lip brush and double ended liner brush. So there it is, it, there is some space to add some more brushes or like other products if you feel like you need to. And this looks super cute and elegant. So yeah, I love that. Uh, let's move on to our day number eight. Our day number eight is actually quite a big one. And this is what's inside. So this is Bramley Bubble Bath with Geranium Lavender and Sweet Orange. So this is our third bath product, uh, which you know, that's to be expected. I'm actually over the moon. I love bath products, so it's never like enough for me. But if you think it's a bit of an overkill, I think not necessarily. We have a bubble bath here, we have some bath salt, and we have like a bath oil. So it's like a little bit different, I believe. Uh, I guess you really need to love your baths to enjoy this advent calendar, but I do. For me, it's all like brilliant. So uh, this bubble bath product is um, 250 mils, obviously a full size. Geranium, lavender and sweet orange. Let me just have a quick sniff. Mm, that smells brilliant. It has like orangey you know, It's going to be so nice for like um, autumn or like around Christmas time. That's going to be perfect. Okay, day number nine over here. Okay, it looks like another good one. So we have Wild Smith Skin Active Super Eye Serum. And this one is 15 mils. I believe this must be a full size, usually 15 mils. When it comes to like eye products, that's usually a full size. Dispense one drop and gently tap around each eye until absorbed. That's what it says. It doesn't really say much about what it's supposed to do to your eyes, uh, but uh, I have really high hopes and I'm definitely going to be testing this uh, soon. Day number 10, like here right in the middle. Oh, it's surprisingly small product for such a big draw. Okay, so what is this? Dream Distillery Moonlit Sleep Mask. CBD free. Interesting. So this is what it looks like. We have 15 mils over here. So this is more like a travel size. It's not particularly fragrance. It smells like a clay mask, um, like a regular clay mask or something like this. I mean, I do love testing new face masks. So that is quite exciting as a product, but obviously I kind of need to complain a little bit, right? Because I feel like I'm super excited about like everything here. I wish the size was a little bit bigger, but I mean, all in all, we can't have like the whole advent calendar of full sizes, can we? I don't really feel the need to complain, honestly. I'm like super happy with the contents, but I feel like I at least need to point out things that maybe could have been better. So yeah, maybe this could have been a bit bigger. Uh, anyway, day number 11, it's over here. So here we have Fort Norman Mason's own brand. This is a Garden Song Hand Cream. So we have a little hand cream here. This is 50 mils, made from purest botanicals and inspired by the verdant aromas uh, of our Piccadilly rooftop garden. A serene breeze of calendula, chamomile and linden awaits. 
I use hand creams a lot and I do enjoy using them so that's something that's always going to be used up in my household mostly by me I don't think Robert uses hand creams at all but definitely a good product very practical and I think in the last two years we had a hand sanitizer which to be honest I think I prefer to get a hand cream day number 12 is a tiny tiny one over here and here we have Cure Bazaar Bubble V uh, and this is a nail polish it's interesting because it doesn't seem to have much pigmentation and it's very liquidy for a nail polish. On the website it says, a healthy varnish with a glossy pink finish designed in collaboration with Virgin Dello. It's technically supposed to be a, a colorful transparent varnish. It's supposed to give you this kind of like glossy uh, finish with some like pink hue it is also supposed to be conditioning so yeah that sounds like a very interesting alternative to your regular nail polish okay moving on day number 13 and guess what we have two items over here so we have aqua di parma uh, shower gel and body lotion and these are in arancia di capri fragrance so there's that do you know what i recently unboxed uh, the harrods advent calendar and they had a shower gel in this size uh, this is 75 mils yeah they had a shower gel in this size Size, but they didn't really have a matching body lotion and I did mention that I think you know when you pay that much for an advent calendar you kind of either expect a bigger size or like a duo and here we actually have a, a matching shower gel and a body lotion which is amazing let me just have a quick sniff as well that just smells gorgeous that just smells so beautiful but uh, to be honest i'll probably just keep it for like next summer because it's such a beautiful summery fragrance day number 14 up here yes I, uh, listen guys, I love candles, I love candles and uh, I mean for me there's no such thing as overkilling candles and this one smells, oh my god, this one smells beautiful. So this is the Ferdinand and Mason candle, it just looks stunning, it also has this beautiful wintery fragrance but this one is more like citrusy woodsy whereas this one has almost like a fair like uh, kind of like vibe, it's definitely not particularly fruity. Uh, it just gives me like a proper winter uh, vibe whereas this one is more like Christmas, you know uh, But these are both so beautiful and I love my candles day number 15. It's over there So here we have auto uh, exfoliating cleanser with papaya enzyme and this is 25 mils I tried a few products from this brand before and I actually really liked them So I definitely had their CBD drops and these are perfect if you want to have like a really good night's sleep uh, I had their eye cream which was brilliant and something else but I can't recall what that was now uh, I haven't tried their exfoliating cleanser so that is actually quite exciting and as I said I've been really happy with this brand so far so it's really nice to try something a little bit different infused with papaya enzymes milled jojoba seeds elderberry and tulsi oils to gently exfoliate and cleanse reveal skin that feels soft smooth and refreshed day number 16 okay <laughs> look at that so we have a full-size cold 51 day cream this time and i think i just mentioned that before i tried their day cream and their night cream and they were just so good and let me tell you these are quite pricey so it's so good to have a full-size um face cream from this brand here we have 50 mils over here this luxurious day cream has been formulated with a blend of active ingredients to deliver over 40 anti-aging benefits and to protect skin from many aging factors. Cold 51 day cream works with your skin cells natural regeneration process to restore and reveal a more youthful and luminous complexion. Uh, day number 17 over here and we have a little fragrance here. This is by Maison Matine and the fragrance is Pum Pum and we have 15 ml so this is what it comes like and I'm just going to show you the bottle. So there you go this is the bottle i think i tested probably most of the fragrances from this brand and i really like them so much so that i actually purchased like two full size um fragrances from them i'm pretty sure i haven't tried this one though so let's have a quick look at the notes before i'm just going to test it out so the top notes are kiwi hmm, orange rose and the mandarin blossom then the middle notes freesia peony rose orchid and then base notes musk ebony vanilla and sandalwood that sounds like my cup of tea so let's just have a quick sniff Oh, that smells really nice but I think this is more like a, mm, a kind of like spring summer scent in my books this is something I would just wear in springtime it is slightly woodsy but it's mostly like a fruity floral fragrance very pretty but as I said uh, this will probably wait for like another hot season I mean hot season who am I kidding I live in the UK uh, but let's say another spring and summer yeah that that's probably it's more like it okay day number 18 
it's over here. And here we have another bottle of Aromatherapy Associates uh, bath and shower oil. This time we have the Distress Muscle one, and this is this is actually my favorite scent. With that being said, I probably have like three or four backup bottles of it already, which I mean I'll use them up. Don't worry. I feel like I mean I don't mind having two bottles of uh, these kind of like shower oils in this event calendar, but I guess it would be nicer if they have given us something a little bit different. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely product, it's a nice size, uh, everything's good, but I wish we had something a little bit different here. So yeah, we've got that. And we're moving on to day number 19, which is this big one over here. So here we have another Bramley product. And what is this? Oh, okay, this is a pillow mist. Uh, Lily and Lionel for Bramley pillow mist with chamomile, yarrow and lavender essential oils. And this is what it looks like. And these pillow mists are actually really lovely. I am so happy that we don't have the classic This Works one because that's something I'm really fed up with. I do use pillow mists. I really like this kind of calming lavender-ish kind of like scent when I go to sleep. But honestly, I love trying some like new compositions of scents. This one is 100 mils, uh, Lily and Lionel for Bramley, a timeless lifestyle collection made with love and designed to be treasured. This soothing scent will help calm your mind and is perfect to help to relax you as you unwind at bedtime. Okay, so that was the day number 19. Day 20 is hidden down here. And, oh wait, there are two products inside. That's cool. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Rug Estate a Wild Beauty Protecting Day Cream with Blue Tansy Oil, and we have 15 mils over here. And then we have, by the same brand, Rug Estate Wild Beauty Protecting Facial Oil with Back Jaw, and we have 10 mils over here. So first of all, I've never actually tried anything from this brand, so that is quite exciting. Uh, and we do have like two travel sizes. Obviously these are travel sizes, they're not like massive, but we have two items in one drawer. And I think having two products in one drawer comp compensates for the fact that these are not full sizes, like 100%. Day number 21. Okay, that is exciting. So we have Alto Sleep Drops, 10% CBD, uh, 15 mils. And first of all, again, these are quite pricey. And to be honest, with that price tag, I don't think I would repurchase them ever. I don't really struggle with my sleep that much, uh, but it just gives me like a nicer, like a better quality sleep at night. So I don't think I would repurchase them. But you know what? Actually having them in this advent calendar is very exciting because I'll be able to refill my drops without like spending that much money on them. Infused with pure auto CBD, lavender, butterfly, pea flower, and field mint botanicals to help you relax and unwind for a sound night's sleep. Release one push of the dropper under your tongue and hold for 30 seconds to absorb. Day number 22. So here we have a silk eye mask, but look how cute it is. <laughs> I love it. And this is actually made of silk. So it's not like a satin one that it's like so popular everywhere. It's like a proper silk one and you can definitely feel it. It's beautiful. And this is by Charlotte Posner. I think this goes with the whole theme of the Southern calendar perfectly. So we have all those like um, me time kind of like relaxing items inside. So obviously that eye mask makes so much sense. And it is so cute, isn't it? Okay, day number 23. Okay, so that's a little bit surprising for such a kind of like big drawer we have only one item here so maybe we'll have a reason to complain a little bit um but just a little bit because we have full size uh, makeup item and this is the lila's brow line retractable eyebrow pencil in shade sable so we do have a little spoolie on one side and then we have this nice brow pencil over here okay the shade is actually really nice you can create those like really thin dainty lines uh, on your uh, brows it looks like a mess on my hand but you can probably imagine how this is going to look on your eyebrows okay day number 24 christmas eve and i kind of have to move everything around a little bit to be able to open this drawer Okay, there's something big over here. Okay, big and heavy. So we have a full-size Espa Pink Hair and Scalp Mud Intensive Treatment Mask to Condition and Nourish Hair and Scalp. And we have 180 mils over here. So this is what it looks like. And this is the mask inside. It is slightly pink, isn't it? An intensive mineral-rich treatment mask that deeply conditions to leave hair soft and smooth and the scalp nourished. Vitamin C rich watercress and red clay soothe and nourish the scalp, while apricot kernel oil conditions to help promote stronger, healthy looking, manageable hair. 
Suitable for all hair types, especially dry or weak hair. Can also be used to soften and nourish dry skin on the body. That's actually quite interesting. So you massage into the scalp and through the damp hair, leave for 20 minutes or overnight if preferred and rinse. Okay hey guys, so we're almost done. There's one more door to open. It's day 25 and it's over here. And in our day 25, we have this Charlotte Posner uh, cosmetic bag, which again, I love this pattern. It's so cute. It's a Spa Ladies cotton pouch. It's super cute. I really love the size of it. And this is something very practical. I mean, I use these things constantly. Uh, to store my skincare makeup and like all the beauty products so that's definitely something i will find a good use for okay guys so this is everything what do you guys think i don't think it's going to surprise anyone if i tell you that i really love this advent calendar like i really did it's filled with items i love there are so many like bath products inside candles we have some really lovely skincare here the accessories especially those by charlotte posner are so cute i mean the delilah's uh brush set is uh, really pretty as well so not much to complain about here they added a few makeup items this time uh, and I'm actually really happy with their choices I'm glad there's no mascara there's no eyeliner because these things are just like everywhere so here we have this lip liner we have this brow uh, pencil so I really love the contents of this having calendar but I definitely think this is not like everyone's cup of tea i'm pretty sure it's not everyone's cup of tea you really need to love your kind of spa days your baths uh things like that because otherwise it would be just an unnecessary spend uh like on things that you don't use i know i do think it's a brilliant advent calendar uh if you know what to expect uh, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching for more advent calendar unboxings check those videos over here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye